Elio Wave ending diagonal lesson 1 Elliot Wave ending diagonal lesson 1 Good morning good afternoon uh, good evening bonjour bonsoir mes amis uh, good morning good tag good night for those of you who are new to us we are the TSTW at 24 at Trades the title of the video is Elliot Wave ending diagonal lesson 1 in this video, I want to share with traders uh, Elio Wave tips about the ending uh, diagonal. Okay. The first question is where and when does the ending diagonal is form? Where and when does the ending diagonal form? Okay. The ending diagonal okay, will take place in the fifth Elliot wave. Alright, very, very important after the price or the financial instrument moves too far and too fast okay so talking about where does the ending Elliot wave ending diagonal form it is formed in the fifth Elliot wave all right talking about when it is about the correct answer is that the financial instrument must move fast and too fast, okay? And we should be also in the fifth way. So when we are talking about financial instrument that move too far, we are talking about the financial instrument that is considered as overboard. When we are talking about financial instrument that move too fast, we are talking about the volatility, okay, and the speed of the price, all right? It makes sense. The purpose of this uh, short video is what I like to call a focus tutorial when we are answering a specific question. In this video, we want to clarify one aspect of the ending diagonal. One of the challenges that traders face when they are trading, for instance, bullish divergence, bearish divergence, uh, Fibonacci pattern, Elio Wave pattern, Traders very often will see a pattern that is formed, okay? They will recognize a pattern, but a pattern is taking place at the wrong place. That's why I recommend to traders to know where and when a pattern is formed. Talking about the area wave ending diagonal, lesson one, we want to know where and when Okay, does the pattern form? This is how the expert, the professional area wave practitioner, the professional area wave traders use or trade, okay, the ending diagonal. It will take place in the fifth wave after the prime moves fast and too far. Too far means the financial instrument is in overbought zone. To comparing the current price to the book value, all right? It's not all about technical analysis, all right? Where is the financial instrument? The value of the company at this time is overbought, okay? Does the prime move too fast? Volatility. Vertical move. The prime must go vertical, almost vertical, because the normal progression of the prime is diagonal. The price going up like this, followed by course of diagonal like this, okay? But sometimes the prime may go almost vertical. This is too fast volatility, okay? And now we want to know, is the prime at a major resistance zone? The overbought will take place at a major resistance zone. Or at the convergent point, all right? These are the verification that we are want to check, all right? So you can see that in this video, I was talking about this uh, ending diagonal that is formed at the end of, uh, okay, the, uh, the motorway, which is during the fifth wave. I will continue with this, uh, okay, discussion. So I invite you now to follow me in the next video when we'll talk about the Elliott wave ending diagonal lesson two. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about the uh, Elio Wave and in Diagonal Lesson 1. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please give us the thumbs down, but put a comment below why you disagree with us. If you love this video, share it on Google, on Tumblr, on Facebook, and also on Twitter. See you in the next video.